Now it's time to go back in time. With the 19th pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the New York Mets select Pete Crow Armstrong, an outfielder from Harvard Westlake High School, North Hollywood, California. He's been drafted. Okay. A little subdued. He's emotional. Pete Crow Armstrong. Drafted 19th overall by the New York Mets. We just went back in time. All right, it was great to bring in Pete Crow Armstrong, drafted by the Mets, as you just saw in first round in 2020. Pete, to the left of me is Cliff Floyd, who also knows something about hitting a left and playing outfield for the New York Mets. Can't you take a thing or two from Cliff's playing days? You must have been, you must have grown up watching Cliff Floyd play, no? Sure did. Uh oh, sure did. okay. Of course. Come on now. Come on now. I pay attention. I want to start with this. Some great defense. We've got video of this robbery you had, a home run robbery, Team USA. Pete, there's something to be said for defense and making defense count. Yes, Walk sir. me through this play. Oh, man. I mean, I'd, I'd never robbed a home run before that. So it was it was pure instinct, I guess. I mean, uh, you could you could see the, the fences were a, a pretty good size, I guess, to be able to do that. And um, I mean, all, all, all batting practice, you know, the outfielders were all trying to get reads and, and, you know, test our jumps against the wall and all that. So, uh, God, I mean, it was it was a really cool, cool experience because I'd, I'd never done anything like that before. So uh, it was it was a special moment for me because, I mean, yeah, new things and in, in, a, in, a, in a country like that and on a stage like that, it was. It was, uh, it was pretty great. Well, I've never robbed any home before. <laughs> Look, that looked pretty good to me, i tell you that. But, Pete, you know what? Before we get to the fun stuff, man, I got to ask you about your offseason. A little weird. Obviously, obviously we're trying to get some normalcy back and all that. What's been a workout regimen this offseason and, and how you've been sort of just, you know, getting along? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously weird times. I think everybody, uh, you know, it, it took everybody a little bit of time to adjust to it. But I, I, I was, I, I am super lucky. Uh, I have a great support system around me that's, you know, putting me in all the right places. And um, I got in, I got uh, set up with uh, this guy, Tyler Nunn at, um, at the Sports Academy back in April. And I've been there ever since. And um, we got a really good group of, of baseball players there. I mean, um, I've met a lot of great dudes there. I've been able to go six days a week um, pretty consistently. And uh, it's it's a it's a cool mix of of athletes actually. I mean, we have football players there, basketball players there. So I'm having a really good time. I'm enjoying it, and you know, I'm super fortunate to be able to to go to a really good facility right now. Pete, there are sports guys, and there are truly baseball guys. You're a baseball guy from a baseball family. You grew up as a Cubs fan. Javi Baez was your dude, and your dad had an ivy covered wall in the backyard for wiffle ball. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think that was an accident. I think it was an accident. Um, it just so happened that we had that wall and it was in the perfect spot. So um, I got to I got to play pretend a little bit when I was younger. Um, but yeah, my dad's a big big Cubs fan. Um, still is. Um, obviously a Mets fan now. But uh, you know, I, I loved the Cubs growing up, and I loved Javi Baez when he came on the scene. And um, he's definitely a, a guy that I like to you know, kind of take after, model some of my game after. All right, so, you know, I follow you on IG, looked at you a little bit, had to look up a couple of things, and one thing that stood out to me is the hair, bro. You got a hat on, so you got to show America the hair, dog. You can't just, you can't, you can't cap it up. So, see, right now, for me, that's a little lame, right? You must know that's a little lame because we, I saw the pink, I saw the blonde. Like, what's going on right now? You just a little lazy? Uh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the in-between stages right now. Okay. I'm uh, I'm transitioning colors, so we, we'll see what's next. I don't know yet. All right. All okay. Right. Well, we yeah. look forward to the orange color. Perhaps it's coming up next. <laughs> it Speak looked good. Of, speaking a little bit of flash, though, to Cliffy's point, we have video of a dance movie made at first base in high school. Let's roll the videotape here on this. You already know this is coming. Look at that. <laughs> oh, you know this is Dancing with the Stars here, my man. Bam. <laughs> that's a uh, no, God. That's actually that's credit to to Tyler Callahan. Uh, who, <laughs> Who's with the Reds now? Me and uh, me and him played together on on Team USA a couple years back, and he just he kind of whipped that out, and I was like, whoa! So um, all of us started doing it, and I took I took it back to high school with me. So I got to give him credit. It wasn't it wasn't me. But don't so. be don't be modest. No, look, you know, right? It. Yeah, of course.
Uh, listen, Pete, I'm a huge movie guy, so I see the resume I go, hang on a second. Not just one, but both parents are actors. Dad is in House, Heroes, American Dreams, Supernatural, and Mom was in Minority Report, Little Big Lead, yeah. Law and Order? Yeah. I mean, That's my show. Law and Order. Law and Order. Cliff is all in on Law and Order. That gavel comes, watch out. Minority Report, my eyes perked up. Tell me you have a story about Mom and Steven Spielberg or Tom Cruise. Oh, gosh. I mean, <laughs> I've, 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 I've never seen the full movie. Um... But the opening scene, I mean, I, I, I've seen countless Tom Cruise movies before I've ever seen that. And my mom actually, she doesn't talk about it all that much, but um, so I, I don't I don't have too much to say about that one. But I, I mean, the little big league stories are probably better. Um, and it's funny, I mean, like at Harvard West, like we have a lot of people that actually worked closely with that movie. And um, so it's funny to see uh, some of those things come full circle, but I mean, my mom working with Tom Cruise, that's that's uh, that's pretty cool. Lucas Giolito is also a Harvard Westlake guy. His parents are actors as well. Uncle right. was in Seinfeld, so I can see there's some acting DNA there with Harvard Westlake. All right, rapid okay. fire here, Pete. What is your favorite non-baseball activity? Reading, uh, playing soccer, thrift shopping, one of those. Okay. Uh, best book you read recently? Oh, gosh. Uh, the Old Man in the Sea. Oh, Ernest Hemingway, my man. Oh, you know that? Yeah, my man's bringing it here. Hey, y'all better than uh, me. <laughs> man, Nobel Prize winner. All right, what do you put on first in the morning, your socks or your pants? My pants. That, nah, I'm socks first, because they get caught. They, 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 nah, yeah. I got to see how the pants look. I got to see how the pants look. It's usually a, a pretty simple pair of socks. So. Okay. Okay, and here's the big one. What actor should play you in a movie? <laughs> oh, man. Um... <laughs> I'm a big Jonah Hill fan. Okay. <laughs> Super bad. Okay. So, Jonah Hill, if, if he ever wants to play me in a movie, please go ahead. You might guess. It is. I'm about to say, he might have to slim down a little bit. I don't think he can make that catch <laughs> in center, but I, I loved him in The Wolf of Wall Street, Moneyball. He doesn't have a baseball Yo, backward a little he bit. Do, he, he goes up and down. He it's fluctuates. Jonah Hill, he lost some yeah, weight. He put the yeah, weight back on. Yeah. yeah. He's, he, he's impressive. He's impressive. Yeah. I, he does have range, just he like does. Pete Crow Armstrong out there yeah. in the outfield. Thanks so much, dude. Appreciate you. We look forward to following you on IG and hopefully some pink hair coming soon. Yo. Look forward to you doing some big things with the Mets. Hey, you know I'll be checking.